we deal with designers on a daily basis uh, my friends get copied hmm. from masaba to <coughs> shaila to anamika <coughs> to abu sandeep you know they copied non stop and i know how frustrating it is for them so in a way it was a great thing you know honestly sonam is such a generous soul like she's always been my muse whenever i think of anything it's, it's always okay, with yeah. her and i think that she's also my sama's muse say she's my muse <laughs> fashion has been an extremely important part to india but it's only been in the past one decade that we've started celebrating it Joining me in a conversation are two extremely talented women who have been key in changing the face of fashion in this country. Here's welcoming Riya Kapoor and Masaba Gupta. So like I mentioned in my introduction when Sonam came in about a decade ago, uh, she basically bridged the gap between um runway styles and high street fashion. And then there was you because you opted for a color palette which was extremely bold, eclectic, and the motives were like you wouldn't go for the regular paisley motives. So you two have been powerhouses of fashion. So what took you all so long considering you all have been friends forever? and uh, we saw the camaraderie off screen see the thing is that when we met each other when we were young we were in the same kathak class but we were uh, she's younger than i am so we were really friendly in class but we weren't as close you know and then um, when masaba launched her uh, when she launched her label she reached out to sonam to open her store i yeah. remember and she was just a baby designer at that time and that's the first time that i kind of worked with her to put together a look for sonam and i just remembered being so much fun so we just got closer and closer and closer in a very expedited way there's a lot of ease between the two of us because we understand each other very instinctively in terms of just creativity mm-hmm. you know and even the way this collection came to be was that um i think we were just sitting together and drinking <laughs> drinking <laughs> no but you know it's, yeah. it's so funny but every single time it's just been like fate right every single time i've wanted to do something new for sonam in contemporary ethnic wear i've always you reached always, out to masaba yeah. and somehow we did a look and it just then became a collection and also you know i think that sonam getting married has left a lot of space in my in, life yeah. for me to do stuff for my mom not feeling like giving a genuine person okay okay also you know we see a lot of actresses who um would fit into like these really tight corsets to get achieve a tiny waist or have like you know bum bum pads come yeah. up and stuff like that but your collection is all about body positivity it's about celebrating who you are was it a conscious effort that you know we have to go out there and be very real and you know tell people that it's okay to be you i think it's okay to be you in any shape and form i just think that there's so much pressure today exactly, to yeah. be uh, to skinny. just put yourself out there and be skinny yeah. or go out without makeup and be a bit underdressed and everything or whatever it is but i think if putting on a little bit of makeup and dressing up every morning makes you feel good about yourself and you feel 100% then do that that's mm-hmm. your space and that that's something you enjoy but if uh, you're somebody who just wants to go out with a bare face and you're not that concerned about how you look and you don't want to wear like um tummy shapers and this and that to an event and you want to just show your body in its raw and real form then you should do that so. and i think it's not just that i think like for example there was a there was a time in you know in uh, sort of fashion and film where curvy women were considered to be beautiful, beautiful then beautiful. there's been a time where you're the waif and you're beautiful then mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and i think that because of instagram and face tune and whatever that's what's happening right now um i just feel like no matter what if we try to conform our physical bodies and our health and our faces to what a filter looks like all you're going to do is destroy your peace of mind for example in our stores we have we have women who like corsets or who like like off the shoulder stuff but then they're like or they like sleeveless blouses but they say just give us a shrug to cover it up to cover our arms up yeah. you know and i'm not going to turn around and say show your arms the way they are if you want to cover them just cover them so yeah. we we give them solutions so i think this collection is a lot to do with solutions for like you know slightly occasion wear festive wear yeah So I was reading on your Instagram where you said that you know you've tried to stay away from roses for a very 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 long time but now you finally you know you picked up the mo- rose motif so what kept you away from it for so long and was Ria you know the influential factor that you finally took it up You know we actually did the rose uh, that Sonam wore a sari of remember the black and white Yeah, yeah, yeah. long back for some promotions but it was done in a very 
off white and clean off white and black and yeah. was done in a very uh, memories clean for a toss, huh? yeah but if i show you you will remember uh-huh. it was very nice it was half and half and ha yeah <laughs> i think it was a bhag milka promotions if i'm not wrong so yeah so i remember doing that but it was a very um it was a part of a much larger collection and i don't think the rose per se was the focus and florals in general with me have never been mm-hmm. a thing you know it's all about bold motifs and things like that and i remember her saying that we should do a rose but we wanted to do one that looked like a holograph you know so it looked yeah. like it had been like or an old a rose that would look how it would look in an old polaroid photograph so every print that you see in this collection has actually been um messed with messed with <laughs> yeah there's some kind of a treatment that is gone through it's yeah. not just a rose in its actual form and we just wanted to bring that in in our own little twist and make it a little bit new, more new age i would think yeah um okay so since now both of you all are venturing into i mean you've always been a designer now you've enter this thing and we know that instagram has been taken over by that subya and you've been falsely uh, called out once and you gave out Twice. a clarification to, yeah. yeah and you know you we've seen you having a banter you know when yeah. you're giving it back like no i remember was an anamika khanna look hmm. so how do you think um diet subya has a, as a whole has changed or has has had an impact um in the fashion industry or indian fashion you know what is your say this to me i just think it has become a bit personal i just think that they started off as a no, brand you're just to on no you're picking on somebody's how someone looks i mean isn't the whole point of instagram to be a little bit more positive about True. everybody else you're picking on how someone's stomach looks so how somebody's badly dressed but to them they may be the best dressers in the world True. So the job focus has moved which I don't like having said that I think that they started off on a great note if they went back to that then great but they also owe every designer and design house an explanation True. First of all we need to be very clear about the fact that everything has a mother Yeah um everyone got inspired by something or the other Now how do you draw the line between inspiration and plagiarism Um if you claim to be the person that can draw the line my suggestion is to do as much homework as possible one part of that homework like she said is to reach out to the person you're accusing and say that well do you have anything to comment before mm-hmm. you actually put something out there because you're putting it on a public platform and you don't know how it's going to affect them one two it's also become a place where people put out their uninformed opinions mm-hmm. and i don't know how healthy that is and third i think that you know like for example there was this whole thing about our images being photoshopped mm-hmm. okay we then put out wrong images both of us put them out on our in about media. 30 seconds in reality and expectations yeah. Yeah. Sort of thing, yeah. saying that look this is the complete raw image mm-hmm. and after that i don't know if there was a withdrawal mm-hmm. i don't know if there was an apology i don't and it's not there something that saying. i expect of course yeah. but yeah. i'm just saying that if you're going to be someone who claims to tell the truth that tell it like masaba said i really respected the idea when it came out because i think it's been a huge problem in our industry we deal with designers on a daily basis uh, my friends get copied hmm. from masaba to <coughs> shaila to anamika, anamika to abu sandeep you know they're copied non stop and i know how frustrating it is for them so in a way it was a great thing obviously diet prada was the mother true exactly and diet sabya is, is the inspiration tradition. you know is what it is today if people knew where half of the embroideries that abu sandi do where it comes from half the inspiration where masaba's prints come from what heritage um, you know indian actual designers are using handicrafts what mm-hmm. they're celebrating if diet Sab- uh, sabya could do things about that how much they would be giving young people because young people have no idea about yeah, all of yeah. this stuff and that's what diet prada does so now talk about <laughs> sonam what Thought why was she missing you know mi where what was her input like you know no <laughs> sonam has picked her outfits in the beginning okay. okay and now you'll see her wearing them yeah but uh, sonam is the reason that i'm definitely here that's the reason and to an extent why masaba is sitting here as well which yeah. masaba will acknowledge no <laughs> yeah, <that, yes. laughs> and, and i think that um you know honestly sonam is such a generous soul like she's always been my muse whenever i think of anything it's, it's always okay, with yeah. her and i think that she's also masaba's muse right? she's always 
also um, you've taken you've drawn inspiration from your own mom so you know Nina ma'am you went back to Nina Mandi <laughs> Mandi yeah the, yeah so what why only that particular film no so I'll tell you what happened was Mandi was the original inspiration which was actually Ria's idea because I think we saw my mum put up a small clip on her Instagram oh. of uh, Mandi something and she said listen this is a great idea and uh, we wanted to shoot it in that manner as well so if you see the the whole campaign it's got it's a very old school old school vintage, yeah. vintage uh, backdrop and the set is also very vintage and yeah so that was the idea but a lot of the other prints were also like lost love letters yeah i think that you know nina ji first of all has a flawless sense of style she's very sexy without even trying i think she saw in her uh, said in her interview recently that she's revered but she wants to be desired yeah <laughs> and um, more than anything else i think that mandi also celebrates women that just are sexy by being and i think that there is a lot of that in this collection there's a lot of um mm, that neckline is a little too low but, you know <laughs> yeah. that scarf is a little too long that sari is going a little low but it's high on the side so it doesn't show sure. your hips and i think that you know uh, the we done these safety pins you know i mean back in the day used to have women you know put their chabis in the yeah. you know oh, safety yeah, pin i thought chabies. that was a great inspiration yeah. for us because and we said why not embellish them and make them beautiful and sell them as accessories so we yeah. put like large pearls on them there's little like pearl danglers on them and things like that so it's just a celebration of what's inside which which women have been so shy yeah. and have been told not to show to the mm. world so we're just like now just show it yeah kill it <laughs> Cool. So thank you so much for joining us in a conversation. You definitely gave us like a lot loaded content. <laughs> Lots so of nice. loaded content. Um, so thank you so much thank and you. congratulations thank on you the so much. massive hit of the. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.